And if you are not flying anywhere, maybe you'll be hitting the road to spend time with loved ones for Thanksgiving. Many San Diegans are gassing up as painful as that may be with the high prices right now. Newsday's Brian White shows us just how much San Diegans are paying at the pump and what traffic on our freeways look like today. As we head into Thanksgiving weekend, I want to get out there on the San Diego freeways and see what traffic is looking like so far. But first things first, we got to fill up the tank. Gas prices soaring above $5 a gallon at this Shell station on Washington Street in Hillcrest. I started out with my tank at a little over one third full, and it cost me nearly $80 to fill up on regular unleaded. It's obviously really, really high and I think that it shouldn't be that high. It's insane, man. Uh, I feel like it's a little too much. Uh, I have a sports car and I have to get the premium gas. With the highest gas prices in the nation, California is averaging $4.70 a gallon, according to AAA. Oh my gosh, so in Kansas, it's like $3 and something. I think it hurts everybody at the end of the day. It's, it's not fair. It's, it's a lot of money to, to pay for gas. With a full tank, I headed out onto San Diego Freeway's midday Wednesday to see what traffic was looking like. And for the most part, it was pretty smooth driving at that time. But many people will be hitting the road this evening to get to their destination for tomorrow. Compared from last year, we're going to have more cars on the road. So we're going to be, there's going to be a lot more congestion on, on our freeways going northbound, going out of town. California Highway Patrol is stepping things up with a maximum enforcement period starting Wednesday at 6 p.m. and going through Sunday night at midnight. We're looking for any impaired drivers, reckless drivers, distracted drivers, seatbelt and car seat violations. Just looking to keep everybody safe during this uh, long holiday weekend. Over Thanksgiving weekend last year, CHP made 868 arrests for driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. There's going to be a lot of get-togethers compared to last year, so uh, we know people will be drinking. Um, hopefully they, they make the right choice, either have a designated driver or they, they utilize those rideshare services that are so readily available. I'm Brian White for News 8. Thanks, Brian.